Hi, I'm Tom and I am the founder of Strength Restored, an anti-bullying initiative here in the centre of Yorkshire. Um, I also am currently in my spare time studying a course on child psychology and child development. And as part of that study, I have been reading this book, um, which is Neurotribes by Steve Silberman. And it explores something that has always, always intrigued me, um, and that is the um, realm of autism. I first came interest, became interested in um, autism and the autistic spectrum when I was probably about 11. Um, I was on a uh, choir reunion of my parents and they asked me to look after this little kid, not telling me that he was severely autistic. Now, um, when I say severely, I mean severely. Um, I don't know how bad he is now, because it's 23, 24 years ago. But, um, or something like that. Um, but at the time, he was severely autistic. And probably is still, but yeah, there have been um, progression in the field and stuff. Um, but I looked after this kid and he just fascinated me because of what, yeah, who he was. Since then, I have um, got to know quite a lot of autistic people. Now, autism is a spectrum. Is the, yeah, it goes from very mild through Asperger's to what this kid was like. Um, and you know, one of my relatives is on the As has got Asperger's syndrome. Um, has got I hate that, but anyway, he is Asperger's. Um, and I've known different forms of autism along the way. And one of the reasons why I'm wanting to discuss it here is because actually. It is one of the key areas where people are bullied. And, as I say, I run this anti-bullying issue, so I wanted to address this subject. Because it is one of these areas where it's very easy to pinpoint the reason for the bullying. But actually, as with most bullying situations... It's not the reason they're bullying. And actually, the, the reason for the bullying, sorry for repeating the phrase quite a bit, is a society problem. It is not the problem with... No, no bullying is the problem with the person being bullied. Um, and most of the time, neither is it anything to do with the person doing the bullying. Um, even though we like to demonise those people... But this is one's a very key societal problem. Earlier in this video, I stumbled across sort of labelling my relative with Asperger's. And that's because, you know, we like to label people. We like to put people into boxes. And yes, there can be some uses for that. But with things like autism and Asperger's, and I'm... I'm edging for the, the less severe kind, not like the kid that I worked with in the 90s, um, but the sort of more high-functioning autistic people. Um, the reason why this is a society problem, not a problem with the person, and this is general as, as well as bullying, is that as a society, we haven't yet got to a point where we're just accepting that people think differently and that's effectively what people with Asperger's and um, the other high functioning autistic conditions are is that's people who think differently to us and you know their road mind roadmap is different but it is easy for us to you know not accept that and sort of shun them almost. Um, my autistic relative, yeah, whenever he um, speaks about um, society, certainly in the past, um, 
you know, he's talked about shunning it himself. But I think that's because society doesn't accept him. Or doesn't allow him to be him. And when I see him at his happiest, when I see him you know, Facebook or when it's some um, in real life, it's when people are accepting him for who he is. Not telling him he should be anything different. And I think this is the key to dealing, not de you know, us dealing within ourselves rather than dealing with the person we have to deal with them. Um, dealing with people with Asperger's and other autistic spectrum conditions on the higher level functioning is they, you know, we need to accept they think the way they think and they have a lot to give us by thinking that way and actually we are losing out by trying to make them conform to society's way of thinking if we embraced the way they thought the world would be such a better place. <laughs>